Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to add vintage and grungy charm to your designs using none other than vintage textures. There are plenty of ways to do this, but I'm going to be showing you my own personal techniques on how I do it. And I'm also going to be using my own textures, namely the worn plastic saw and grunge texture kits that I have up on my website. You can of course use anyone else's textures for this. I would definitely recommend someone like Fuller Mo as well. He's got some great stuff on his website. Go check his out at fullermo.com and go check mine out at duronsupply.com. Now let's get started. Alright, so this is a design that I did for Dua Lipa a while ago, which unfortunately did not get approved, but it's still a nice vintage looking design that could benefit from some texture. I'm going to be using my worn plastic salt textures for this, and these are actually textures of printed plastic salt ink that I wore out over some time. As you can see, there's about 20 of them. There's a good amount, and these are all real worn plastic salt textures. You can see here actually just what I'm talking about. So this is one of the textures that I had printed out and scanned in later on. Let me get that closer to the camera for you. Not sure which one this is in the actual texture pack, but it's one of them. And you can see that this is actual real plastic salt ink. And therefore these will get you a really authentic vintage look on your designs. You could download these on my website right now for 15% off using the code YouTube15. Definitely a must have for merchandise designers. All right, cool. So once you've got it downloaded, this is really just sort of a drag and drop situation and finding which textures you like best. So with my design open in Photoshop, I'm also going to open the folder of my textures and I'm just going to drag a few of these in and see how they look. So let me drag the ninth texture in here. I'll scale this up a little bit. And since we have the white background on this, we can remove that by setting the blend mode to multiply. And that's just going to show only the black part of that layer, which is the actual texture of this. So that looks pretty damn good. Only took us two seconds. This is really good to kind of scope out what the textures are going to look like but there's actually a better way of doing this an alternative that leaves us some more flexibility with the transparent parts of our design and the background color so nothing wrong with using blending modes but it just doesn't leave us much flexibility for say changing the background color on this or having this as a png where the textures actually knock out the design instead of just sitting on top of it so i'm going to show you how we could do that right now so as an alternative to blend modes we can also use layer blending effects and that is why i included these transparent pngs in the warm plastic soil download and these when you drag them on do not have the white background they just have the sole texture. And if you don't care about the transparency of this or changing the background color, you can just clip this to your design layer and that's gonna show the texture only on your design. But otherwise, if you care about having this fully transparent and being able to change the background color at will, what we could do is head into the blending options of this layer, go to this knockout section here in advanced blending and just change that to shallow. Now we're gonna press okay and change the fill of this layer to zero. Now this is also going to knock out our background layer. So to stop that from happening, we could just put this in a group with our design. So select both of those and command G to group and boom. Now it only affects our design. And as a bonus, we are able to change the background color as well. And you could see that, actually let me turn this off just to show you, the texture is actually knocking out the design instead of sitting on top of it. So this is fully transparent and perfect for setting off to screen print. I'm just gonna drag another texture in here to show you that again, something more subtle, maybe um, number five, let's go with that one. So I'm going to do the same thing, set the fill of this to zero, and then I'll go into our blending options and set the knock out to shallow. And this is looking really good so far, but keep in mind you're also free to move this layer around and just find the place where your texture sits just right and of course this is all live so this also works with the transparency if i turn the background off we can see this is actively knocking out our design layer this is actually a tip that i borrowed from brady from texture labs so shout out that guy he makes some great content go check him out he's also on youtube and that's really all it takes if you want to get really grungy you can combine textures this is a design that i did for sublime a while ago also unfortunately not approved but we ball so if you want to get real grungy you could just drag on any number of textures and since this texture kit comes with a range of subtle textures to really heavy gritty textures, you're able to combine them for a pretty cool effect. So I'm going to choose one that's pretty subtle, maybe um, Last of Salt 3. I'll drag that on and I'll do our little technique here. Set the fill to zero and set the knockout to shallow. Cool. And then I'll just put these in a group. Cool. So now let's do that again with a more heavy texture. I'm gonna go for, let's say, one plastic salt one. This one's real heavy, I love it. It's just gorgeous. 
absolute beast of a texture. So we'll do the same method here. Fill to zero and set the knockout to shallow. Boom. Now we've really grunged up this image and it looks great. This looks like it was really worn in. One thing you could do as well is play with the opacity of this. So if I change this down to maybe, I don't know, 60-ish, you can see it also gives us a nice um, versatile effect on our graphic here. So we have that heavy grunge sort of in the background, and then we have that subtle grunge really knocking out the design. And again, I'm free to move these layers around as I like, and the effect is completely live. So this is still completely editable and transparent in our design. So a screen printer is going to love you. One more technique that I would recommend is, of course, layer masking in the grungy textures where you want them to be. So let's say I only want this heavy texture on the text up here. I would just place that how I like it on the graphic. And then I would utilize a layer mask on this. So I'll make a layer mask on that. I'll invert it by pressing Command I. And then I'll take a soft brush and I'll brush in the parts with white that I want that grunge texture to be on. So let me brush it in on the text and perfect and cool. Now we only have that really heavy cracked texture on the text over here. That's about it guys. Very simple stuff. Thank you for watching as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I put out content like this every week to help you become a better designer. If you want to use the textures that I use in this video, head over to my website. That is DuranSupply.com and pick up the warm plastic all textures for 15% off using the code YouTube15. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.